In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use the internet and Safari on our iPad. Using the internet on the iPad with VoiceOver actually requires a lot of movement and a lot of different concepts like the rotor and different types of finger swiping. And so it requires a lot of concentration, definitely a lot of practice. We're going to activate Safari and I'm going to go to the CCVIP webpage so that you guys can take a look at how I navigate through the different sections of our page. So I'm going to find the Safari icon on my iPad screen. Dog. Safari. Double tap to open. Okay. And I'm going to double tap to open it. When I activated Safari, it loaded the last web page that I was using, which is google.com. I'm going to be using a physical keyboard that's connected via Bluetooth, but you can use the virtual keyboard to navigate to different pages, although it is a little bit slower. I'm just going to be doing the typing using the keyboard. Everything else I will do using the hand gestures and different functions and settings on the iPad itself. The web page that I wanted to show you is the CCVIP homepage, and I'm going to take you to that now. I have to find the address bar on the face of my iPad and double tap to go into an edit mode. More. Select address. HTTP. Address. Text field. Using my virtual keyboard, I can type in the address of CCVIP's website and press return to go to it. If I did not have the Bluetooth keyboard attached, what would appear at the bottom third of the screen is the virtual keyboard. Keyboard visible. And I can type all the web addresses and all the different types of text using this keyboard. But for speed's sake and for effectiveness sake, I'm going to use the physical keyboard that I have with hide me right keyboard. here. And I'm going to hide the keyboard on the screen by finding the hide keyboard button and pressing that. So once again, I'm going to find the address bar Bookmarks bar, address, text field, is it? Okay, and it's ready for me to edit, so I'm going to start typing the address for Baruch, which is www.baruch.cuny.edu slash ccvip. And then press return to activate and load the page. Web page loaded. Now I'm on CCVIP's homepage, and I can use standard navigation techniques to move through the different elements Reload. of the page. Button. I can flick from left to right. First, it takes me through a series of controls. Google search field. Right, the Google search field, which is always at the top of the Safari web browser on the iPad. Then I can go into um, the other parts of the screen, which is Close tab for computer center for visually impaired. Okay. This is a, a window that allows me to have multiple tabs open or multiple web pages open simultaneously, and then I can move from one tab to the other um, simply by tapping on that tab. But we're going to move into the main content area of this web page just by flicking again from left to right, just moving through the different elements on this page. New tab, but skip to main content in page link. Okay. Vertical line, text only version, link. Barrett College, link, image, CCVIP logo, link, image. Computer Center for Visually Impaired People, heading level one, link, home, link, list start. Braille production, link, bullet. Services, link. Through flicking from left to right, I'm moving from one element on the page to the next. So I've moved from graphics to headings to links and things like that and you know if i want to activate a link i can double tap on it and do that and i'll do that in a, in a moment but i wanted to show you a couple of other methods of navigating on certain web pages the ccvip web page is separated by headings right so there's different headings that that um, separate the different sections of the page kind of like a newspaper where you have headlines that are a little bit larger or in a different uh, font size or font style. Um, so it separates that headline from the text or the content that's directly underneath it. Headings on the web page work exactly the same way. They separate sections of the, of the web page and there's ways of navigating to those headings specifically. So let's say I can scan a whole web page just by looking at its headings and not have to look at the content unless it was under a heading that I was particularly interested in.
And there's a way with VoiceOver to move through each heading. And this requires using the rotor, which is a feature that we've discussed in another video. To activate the rotor, I'm going to use two fingers. I usually like to hold up in around the nine o'clock position of the device. And then with my other finger, I'm going to make a clockwise circle around that finger. And I'm going to hear a bunch of different settings that are available in the rotor. The rotor changes what a single flick down does. So as I flick my finger down, whatever the rotor option is set to will dictate what that single finger swipe down does. So I'm going to look for headers. So again, I'm going to put one finger at the nine o'clock position and with the other finger, I'm going to trace a clockwise circle. Services, link, words, lines, containers, headings, 12 headings. There are different settings like words, lines, and right now we went to headings and it also told me that there's 12 headings on the page. So now I'm gonna use a single finger to swipe down and it's gonna move me through all the, all the headings on this page. How can CCVIP help you? Heading level two, news and announcements. Heading level two, NY Times interview CCVIP staff on iProducts. Heading level three, CCVIP demo center workshop. Heading level three. Right, and as I move through the page, I'm hearing what each of these headings is, and it gives me kind of an indication of the content of the page. So I'm not actually looking at the, the main content area or the main content under each heading. I'm just looking at the heading. So it's kind of like looking at the headlines in a newspaper. And as I get to the bottom, or once I get to the last heading, it, uh, I'll hear that the thud sound that does that tells me I can't go any further. So I, I'm going to keep press. I'm going to keep flicking down until we get to that point. April 5th, CCVI individualized in the computer center for about CCVI. Contact us. Heading not found. Heading not found. All right. So it says heading not found, which means I'm on the last or the twelfth heading on this particular page. If I want to move backwards or up through the page by heading, I can do that by by flicking one finger up. About CCVIP, the co heading the computer center for visual individualized instruction on Apple products. Heading level three. Let's say I wanted to find out about individualized instruction on Apple products. So I've moved to this heading successfully using the up or down flicking motions now that my rotor is set to headings. But to explore the content or the information that's under this heading, I just flick to the right. We are training individuals in the use of the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and Mac. Call. Six, four, six, three, one, two, one, four, two, zero. Link for more information. Right, so that's that was the content that was available under that particular heading. Let's say I want to go back. Um, I think I heard that some uh, some of the staff here were interviewed by the New York Times. Let's say I want to go back to that heading. I can flick again, start flicking up. Individualized in CCVIP April 15, April 9, CCVIP NY Times interview CCVIP staff on iProducts. Heading level three. This is both a heading and a link. VoiceOver even went so far as to give me a little bit more information. This is also a visited link. So it's a link that I've been to before. It tells me that this is a heading, it tells me that this is a link, and then it tells me that this is a link that I've been to before. To activate this link or to access it, I can just simply double tap the screen anywhere now that voiceover has uh, moved its focus to this particular bot. I'm going to double tap using one finger and hopefully that video will load up. NY Times interview CCVIP staff on iProducts. Heading level three, link. So once the page loads, I will look for the play button on the screen and double tap that to activate the video. Welcome to, there we go. Educators at Manhattan's Baruch College explain how physically challenged students find freedom in the products Jobs helped create. It's very, I would say, moving to be able to use mainstream technology. I've been blind now for about 10 years. I use everything from the iPhone to the Mac to the iPad to even Apple TV, which all, all have accessibility features built into them. And it's now, I stopped that video playback by double tapping the screen with two fingers. This is a standard gesture for pausing and playing media that's already been started. So once you've started a piece of media, whether it's music or video, you can use a double tap with two fingers to start to pause it and then to start it up again. So I can resume it now by double tapping again. 
it's kind of unprecedented because and then pause it again by double tapping now if i want to go back to the main ccvip page i can look for the back button which is on my screen as well and i can find that just by moving my finger around and double tapping new york times today's paper forward button back button okay i'm going to double tap the back button back and we're back on the ccvip home page this is a little taste of how you can navigate the internet using Safari and VoiceOver. Use this as a jumping off point to explore the different features that are available to you.